3.5 number 51, we are going to differentiate y is equal to inverse sine of 2x plus 1. And remember that the derivative of inverse sine x is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. Alright, because of that, we can get work. Uh, I will use dy dx as my notation here for derivative. This is equal to, so the outside function is sine, is inverse sine of something. So I'm going to write down as 1 over, open the square root, and then we have the 1 minus. Whatever we have inside, let me write down the parentheses, square. The inside stays the same, 2x plus 1, like that. And now, because of the chain rule, you have to focus on the inside and then take the derivative of that and multiply. The derivative of 2x plus 1 is just a 2. And now, we can put things together. Um, but look at the inside of the square root right here. This can be simplified. This part right here can be written as 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 after you square the 2x plus 1, right? And you still have the 1 minus in the front. In, the, in other words, this is the same as 1 minus 4x squared minus 4x and then minus 1. And then here we have the 1 and 1 cancels. This one, this one cancels. Let me just show you with a different colors. Cancel this one and that one. And let's see what else do we have. There's not much it. So this is going to be inside of the square root. And now let's see. On the top, I have the 2. Over, on the denominator, I have the square root. And then here I have negative 4x squared minus 4x. Just like that. And however, this actually does not match the answer in the back of the book because what happened was that, notice that we both have the 4 here. I can factor out the 4 instead of here. So let me just show you guys right here. I can factor out the 4 and then here I will have negative x squared minus x left. And however, this is still inside of the square root. In another word, I can take the square root of 4, right? So look, look at this is the square, root, the square root of 4 times the square root of negative x squared minus x. And square root of 4 is going to turn into a regular 2. And then this stays the inside. It stays the same, like that. And now we see the top has a 2. That will cancel out this 2 on the bottom. Altogether, this is equal to, I have 1 on the numerator. Over, the bottom is going to be square root of the negative x squared minus x. This is the answer.